Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I'm working on the hashtag CC, CCT52 challenge over at Caroline's Craft Tree. Caroline's Craft Tree. <laughs> started this so many times I can't get anything straight. <laughs> it's week two of her 2024 challenge and this year she's changed our um, challenge up just a little bit and we are rolling the dice to find out what our challenge is each week. So everybody has a little bit different challenge and it's been real fun. So I've got all of my stuff in my little uh, lunch pail looking thing here. It's really beat up. I've had this for years. I've done so many different things with this thing, but this year it's holding my challenge. So we roll the dice and we find out first what we're making. Like, is it going to be a tag, an envelope, a pocket, a flip, what it's going to be? Then we roll it again to find out are we going to do any mixed media and how many prompts are we going to do? So this, this little box here holds my mixed media prompts. And I got me a little tablet in here to write down my weeks. Yeah, this just has my um, prompts that I've already done, except for almost trying to escape. Oh, there it is. And when I push it way back here like this, that's because my arm is really stretched out and I could see if I looked up in my camera, but I'm not going to do that. I cannot see what I'm drawing when I draw like that. I have no idea what I'm pulling out of there. If I pull them up like that, I could see them. But if I just do this, I can't see. So, I can't remember which, which dice did what last week, but we're going to say my pink one is telling me what I'm going to make and my purple one is telling me if I'm going to do mixed media and how many props. Okay, so I will put that where you can see it until I have to draw. So I drew a one, so I'm going to do a tag or a journaling card. So I think I'm going to do a tag. Oh, I can't write. Okay, well, I got a mistake here, but that's okay. Week two. I'm going to make a tag or journaling card, and I'm going to choose a tag, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I didn't show you. I wanted to show you. I'm working on my journal. I've got my papers. Um, uh, dying right now, but this is my journal I made. This is a Despero book. Des Despero? Um, what am I doing with the innards? I must have taken. I think it's Despero. Isn't he Despero? I think he's Despero the mouse. Let me see. I took the innards in here. already put the innards back with my books. I think it's Tale of Despero the Mouse. But I thought he was cute and he's holding a little needle and thread. And um, I just used some calico and put some paper there. And I've got all my um, my papers. I'm just using copy paper and I will decorate it as I go. Um, so, I couldn't really find paper in my uh, stash that I really wanted to use, and I didn't want to limit myself to what I could put in here. I kind of think I need to glue this lace down a little bit more, though, because it's kind of coming up. But anyway, that is my journal that I'm going to be putting my things in. And I'm about done with it. I just I about got my um, papers all um, died. Yeah, I'll get that done today. So anyway, okay, so um, tag our journal, and then I did draw roll a one, so that means that I need to do a mixed media. My pink, my um, 
I'm trying not to look here. Okay. I need to do some stamping. I got stamping. So, and we put those back in because we don't have very many mixed medias. So, I need to do some stamping. And I need to roll this one again. I keep rolling a, a four. I rolled a four last week. So, let's draw one. Two. Three. Four. So we have something yellow, something sweet, washi tape, and something with wheels. All right. Something yellow. Come on. Something yellow. Something sweet. I got a lot of some things, didn't I? Sweet. Washi tape. And something with wheels. With wheels. All right. I'll be back when I get everything collected and we will make a tag. <laughs> be right back. All right, I've got everything picked out, I believe. So first I gotta do is cut my tag. And this is my favorite um, size tag lately. I like this size, but I can't use this one. This is my sample, but it is not quite long enough. So we're gonna have to cut one that's a little bit longer. So I've got me a folder here. I have to start a new one. We're going to cut right past the lines of it there. Okay. So, and I think I want to cut it just a little bit wider here. So, let's see. This one is four and an eighth. So her elbow makes it go to four and five eighths. So I'm going to go to four and three quarters. And then um, this one is six and a quarter. But her head makes it right at seven. So we'll go seven and a quarter. Well, now I forgot. Four and three quarters, is that what I said? No, four and a half. Four and a half. By. Four and a half by. Oh, brain. By seven and an eighth. Okay. So, let's go with seven and an eighth by four. <sighs> My brain cannot attach itself today. Or lots of days. one. That's okay. Let's make sure. I'm sure it'll fit in my book. Yep, it'll be fine. And I did, I, I had the book sitting right there. I just didn't see it. This is the guts of it. And it is um, The Tale of Despero. And the pages in it are really neat. So I'll be using those for stuff too. This will be fine on the page. It will still fit, so it will be fine. Okay. I don't know why I had that out. I could have just 
measured it myself. I just always grab that one a lot because I really like it. I'm putting it up. And we'll get this out. See where. We'll do five and an eighth. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna go with five and an eighth because I like little. Maybe four. Oh, the thing is moving. It's not supposed to move. Four. We'll do four. And then we'll flip over. And put this side on four. I like little stubby ones. Okay. All right. So now, oh, let me mark the center. Um, I'm not gonna cut cut it yet because I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do the um. If I'm going to use my punch or just um, staple some lace on there. But I am going to go ahead and mark the center. Although, oh, well, I'll go ahead and mark it. It may not show. My marking may not show by the time I get to that point. But we'll mark it and then we may have to mark it again. Okay. Okay, so. Um, let me show you what I have pulled out. <coughs> Let me get a drink real quick. Oh, it just fell right out of the package. This is one of my favorite flower stamps I have ever had. Um, this is a By the Well, and I know on the side you're thinking, what on earth is that? But when I turn it over, you'll see it stamps beautifully. It is a gorgeous flower stamp. And we'll probably use this one. I don't know. We'll see. But it, oh, it's just gorgeous. So we're going to use that for stamping, just a background stamp. Um, something yellow. I found this in my magazine. And, um, well, I buried it. I, I, I got a lot of magazines behind me, but it's in one of my magazines. And yes, I copied it. I just can't run the image behind. I just keep doing that. I can't run the image behind for some little thing that I'm doing that's just going in my personal journal. I just can't. I can't do it. But she's in a beautiful yellow dress. So that is my yellow. Something yellow. Now my something sweet. This is in um, printables for your junk journal for, by TLC. And if that's not sweet, I just, I love it. And this is their picture that's hanging on the wall, right? I just, I can't. She had two dogs that she had today for printables. And I just, I just can't. The other dog was looking the other way, I think. I think that's why I picked that. But I just, do you want another look? I mean, come on. love it and again that's printables for your junk journal by TLC and that's on Facebook okay something with wheels and I wish this was a little bigger but I wish I could get that bigger this is out of National Geographic I didn't think about how that was gonna fit on here I wanted it bigger. <laughs> I don't know if my my printer will find it. My I'm having trouble with my printer, and it's not working right. It's driving me nuts. I don't know if it will scan now. It wouldn't scan, so I just had to take it the way it was. I'm looking for that picture. I 
see if it will actually scan. I restarted everything and then I forgot that I wanted to to try it again. And we'll get to work in here. It just would not connect. I was like, come on. But I really wanted that bigger. And now that I'm seeing it all on there, I'm like that little bitty thing is not doing a thing. <laughs> but I may just have to take it how it is because for some reason my computer is not talking to my printer or the opposite. I don't know. But anyway, okay, so first thing I want to do, I'm going to just have to take it the way it is. Ugh. The other thing I did is I have this that I printed from Printables for your... It, it's not going to talk. And... Uh, um, I'm sorry. Now my... It, it won't talk. Oh, it's coming up. No, it started to and quit. It starts to, but then it quits. Well, that's better than it was doing. It wasn't even doing that. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Oh, oh, it came up. Well, I might be in luck. <laughs> I, I don't understand what is going on. Scan. Hey, it's letting me scan. Okay, so what I thought... What I... Th oh, you guys. I don't know what to do. It's going to keep this up the whole time. We're on here. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, you guys. What I thought is cut this out and cut the little person out of it because I don't want that little person. And I would also cut the puppy dog out now because I don't need another puppy dog. I know, that's sad. Cut the puppy dog out. But I don't need two little puppy dogs. But I accidentally printed it way too small the first time. So I cut the person out and it looked really, really funny. But I don't know if I could just put it behind them and hide this area. Cause I, and I accidentally just cut the steering wheel off, but it doesn't matter because the half steering wheel looks really kooky. Now this is also from free printables for your junk journals. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, so then, let's see, I thought about trying to put this behind her. Well, that looks a lot better than that itty bitty thing, doesn't it? I mean, it's still little, but let's see if I get that hid just right. You can't, this doesn't look so funny without the steering wheel. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's do our stamping. Let's see about our stamping here. I need to get my big block. This is such a pretty stamp. Um, no. We can't stamp yet because we're going to do some collaging on here. J. 
Gina's lost her mind. We're doing some collaging first. I am this bit right now. Alright. Let's do some collaging first. Um, I want to look in here. This is some of my very favorite paper that I have. And I want to find uh, this. I think that a little bit of this paper, just a little bit, would look pretty with this, don't you? Or maybe something with some red, too. Let's put some of this on there. Yes, we used some of this not too long ago. Oh, oh, I might use that instead of that. Let's see. Oh, I know what else I need to go grab real quick. I know what else would go perfect on here for collaging. Just a second. Let me grab it. It's on the other side of my room. I'll be right back. I just thought of it. Right back. These, yes, we'll put a couple of those on there. We'll get a couple of those on there, or at least one, maybe not two. But okay, so then we have. I didn't know we had labels in here, but we can put one of maybe one of those on there. Maybe a coupon. Let's see. These are just some of my very favorite papers. A lot of them are Jenny Bolan. Some of these are papers. Oh, now look. Maybe I could put some of that on there and not worry about this. Um, um, car thing. My scanner has stopped working. I have had nothing but trouble with this printer that I own now. Nothing. It has been just pure trouble. I feel like I'm going to need a new one. Okay, let's see if there's anything else in here that I think I need. Probably not, because I probably need to just add some plain paper here. The other day I needed transparent, and I have all kinds of transparent in here, and I forgot about them. Good grief, Gina. There's even more. I saved this for, you know, certain ones. Okay, so these are our special things, and I think we will work this in for something with wheels, and forget about this other stuff. Okay, so let's, um, first let's put some plain paper on here, and then we will work our pretty papers in. And yes, I'm very hyper right now for some reason, and I cannot tell you why. It's ADHD coming in. <laughs> okay. So, this I could put on there. Needs to go in and buy paper. Some of my favorite ones, we'll just stick it down there. This paper, I'll put on there too. This is my favorite music paper. Look how little. Works perfect for small projects. 
Okay, I should say it's one of my favorite music papers. I have a lot of favorite music papers, don't I? <laughs> I love music paper, especially music paper that has uh, no words. Now, I do love my hymns. I do. Uh, I really do love music paper with no words. Okay, let's... Oh, oh, let's put some shorthand on there. I would rather have some shorthand that's got more than that. So, let's just grab my book and get some out. Uh, I'll just take this one. not going to show. I don't know what I was thinking. I have been like this today. I don't know why. Blame it on the cold. How cold is it where you live? Do you live in the Midwest? Um, I don't know how cold it is right now, but I do know the last time I looked at the clock, or the clock, looked at my phone, it was 9 o'clock this morning, and it was e minus 11 degrees. Where I live, or where I live, I mean, for the norm where I live at this time of the year. That is stinking cold. <laughs> that is really cold. Let me see. Let's see here. Let's see. It it is it, it oh it's minus three now. Yeah, it's minus three. Cold, 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 cold. At least it's not minus eleven anymore. It still said minus eleven when I turned it on. That was this morning. We did not get out. It's just um, a lot of the churches in our county canceled, but ours did not. Um, but um, you know, with my husband being disabled and having to deal with the wheelchair and all of the rain and the snow. And, the rain was really the thing. The rain under the snow um, was just kind of nerve-wracking thinking about him um, transferring. You know. Well, transferring from the van to the wheelchair. From the wheelchair to the van. And I just hurting very badly today. His leg, the last two days, his leg has been really giving him trouble. So we just stayed in. Okay, so these ladies are going to go right here like that. So let's bring back my fancy paper. I set this to the side. Now this, I need to figure out I think this really goes with the time period because it looks like the 40s to me. I don't think I want the bikes. The bikes look newer to me. Maybe they're not, but... Okay, I am going to kind of sketch where I want 
this to go. And I want it to go about like that. That will help me. And yes, I'm tearing it the wrong way. I got the white edge. <laughs> okay. So then I need to cut a straight edge. far enough, did I? Hmm. What did I do wrong? There, now it reaches. Okay. Let's set these kitties over here. I'm not going to cut exactly right there, but close. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I don't want to take a chance. Okay, so that's part of our um, what we're going to do. So now I've got this. Let me bring my ladies back. My ladies are going to be right here. Where's my little doggy? Oh, it is my dog. Oh, y'all have lost my dog. Can't lose my cute little dog. Where did I throw my dog? There he is. Doggy will be up here. I've got this. I kind of want to cut it down. This is, um, This is about the dresses. Totally stuck down. Whoa. And very easy to rip. Oh, I'm ripping the one behind it. I didn't even realize there was one behind it. even think about that. Well, I know that now. Don't destroy the one behind it. <laughs> I guess you can't probably use both of them. Okay, 
Maybe I should take them to my tea kettle before I try to use them. some of this up in here somewhere. So I'm going to tear it that way and then um, maybe I like having some odd tears, you know, so that everything isn't just so perfectly torn. And tear this side too. Maybe put this across here. Or maybe like that. Yeah, I cover up that assignment thing. I don't, well, you know what? That might be covered up. Trying to decide. Okay, I've got. Let me show you. I've got this that I could put through. I'm probably decide right now by what I've already got on here. I could put through that um, punch through my punch. I can punch and put that through. Or. I've got this that I might think I like better already that I thought that I would just um, and that's going to win that looks better already I'll staple that on yep okay so this can come down and be like down in here okay let's ink that up You know, do I want it over here? It's going to come over here because I don't want all of the paper on one side, do I? Because if I put it over here, it's real heavy. It's really heavy to have both of my papers unless I come up with a, unless I do the other green on this side. But if I do the other green on, on this side, then both of the greens are on the same side. So we'll see what else I add. For now, I'm going to put it behind the dog. And we'll see if I come up with another paper. We'll see what I come up with here. about here. I turn it over backwards to tear because I am so used to tearing towards me. I really have a hard time tearing the other way. So if I tear it from the back and tear towards me, then the white, then I get the right kind of tear. I don't know. Okay, let's bring this over here. Bring this back over here. Now let's go to the other side with this. And maybe just have it like that.
be just a wee bit of it. Does it need to just be a little... Well, no, I kind of like it. And then with him like that. Maybe just a wee bit less. Well, let's tear it. Oh, wow, I was going to give it a straight edge. I like that number showing up there. Okay, and then we'll have this, maybe not quite as long. Or maybe have, no, I like it going in. A bit more up here, maybe? Okay, we might have to tweak this a little bit once we get it on here. But I like this, so now we're going to do our stamping on the um, shorthand paper. Oh, and I gotta do the washi tape. Okay, so I have a few choices of washi tape. I have this ticket washi tape, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Kind of like this one. I'm going to do one. So let's see. I have some others. This isn't the only one. But let's just see. Like if I put that one there. Oh, that's just too much. That is just too much. Okay, that one is... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I have this, and that would be pretty, I think, if I took the rose and the flowers and spread those around. So we're going to use that one. I also have this one that I can put down here at the bottom, and I think we'll use that too. Or I have this one that I thought I could cut out and put the numbers along the bottom. Just cut the numbers. That would be pretty too. But I like that other one a lot for there. So we'll do that too. Okay, so let's do the stamping. Let's get the stamping done. All right. Um, my ink. I'm going to use my Versafine, I think because it always gives me a good crisp stamp. Why won't my door open? Because I have it shoved too full. <clears throat> I'm always like adding another, just one more color in there, please. Just one more color. I don't want to have to get up and get another color out of my, my um, drawer that's up there, you know. I have to stand up to get it. <laughs> I got, I hope I got ink on everything. Let me make sure. Okay, let's see. I have my thing down here somewhere. I hope I didn't move that to where it I accidentally moved it. I hope I didn't smear it. Yeah, it's just so pretty. It is so pretty. Okay, I will set this off to the side and we'll grab it. Where did I set the stamps? I've got too much on the desk. Okay. I'll we'll just try all three of them. Yes, I am. Good. Do 
this one this way. And I use this because I don't have a lot of strength in my hands anymore. And it just helps get it pushed down a little bit. Clean this other one off. I'm going to put it back on here real quick and wipe it off. I have used these so much that they are staying terrible that I just love them. They're one of my favorite stamps out there. If you liked Bible Journal and you have not checked out By the Well for God Kids, you've got to check them out. Um, I can't get them right now, I can't afford them. Um, not that they're terribly expensive, but they are, uh, I, last I knew, I, I used to spend about 50 a month on them to get, I can't remember, but I would spend about 50 a month on them, but the, their kits are so worth it. <coughs> the devotionals are so good. And then the stuff that you get to do your journaling in your Bible are so lovely. This is how they come. This is an old one. Um, they come in a little baggie like this. And then this is how you're, they come. Um, is this called? I've forgotten what this size is called. But I have a thing that I put these in and use. But you get so much stuff and they're just amazing. Uh, I'm not able to afford them. I wish I could, but I can't. Okay, and I'm going to have all that covered up down here so I don't need to go any further. Um, I think I would maybe have some put the other one, the one, the first one back on, and ink up right here, and just have some there. Oh, that didn't work very well. Uh, I probably can't match it back up. Oops. Stamp pretty on there, didn't it? Oh, that's going to be covered, so I think I won't try that again, because I kind of messed that up. I don't want to mess the whole thing up. All right, so we'll set these off to the side. I don't know where off to the side is. <laughs> okay. Now, we'll get back to the, doing the collage and get this put together, if I can remember where everything went. Alright, so, <coughs> I think this went down here like this, and I don't, I don't know if this went under a little bit. Maybe I should try to put everything on there. I think I want this a little bit darker. So I'm just going to use this. I want this. I want it inked up a little bit better so that it looks a little bit older. And maybe just a little bit. I have to put it right on the edge if I want that design there, don't I? This is one that I got from Timu. I think it's cute. I don't want this really dark, but just a hint.
I don't have a hint yet. <laughs> I don't have anything on there yet. There, I have a hint. There we go. All right. Oops. Okay, let's see where all this goes. This goes kind of right here. The ladies are here. Oh, I don't think I had that tucked in, did I? That's why I'm. Well, I don't want to glue it all down until I figure it out. Cause I, I always, when I just start gluing down from memory, it's, it's not the same way I remembered it at all. I don't remember it right ever. Nothing fits right. I wish I could find me about oh, somebody could just come up with a whole boatload of this Jenny Bowen stuff. I have a friend that would be very happy too. <laughs> we would both be thrilled. We love this stuff. I I mean junk journalers would just be thrilled with having this. If you don't if you weren't crafty when Jenny Bowen was around. Oops. Okay. There. That's how I had it, isn't it? Or do I want to move that up there? Yeah, I think I do. Maybe? Yeah, we're going to move that up there. Put that there. Yeah. I don't think I want anything else here unless I want to move. Nope, I don't. Nope, I don't. I want that to stay there. Maybe I want to move that there. Let's get one more of those. Where'd I throw those? Just throwing things around. There they are. All right. Oh, it's fine. Let's just put a couple of these over here. That'll be good. Maybe that balances it out better. Something is not balanced to me. And I'm not... I'll put a flower on here to help that out. Okay, we're going to glue this down. And I'm going to quit fussing. Okay. Part of it's probably I've got so many patterns and I don't usually collage with patterns like this. I really don't usually collage with trucks, but I need my wheels. <laughs> okay, let me get this one down. Um, where? I don't want it in very far. And I don't want to run my Paper. So let me um take where's my I just marked that and I can't there's my mark, okay. paper because I'll use every single scrap of this paper. Okay, yeah, put 
this in here. to decide. Okay. And I didn't ink up the edge of this one. Did your mom put these things? Mine did. I remember having the books and going and I'm looking in the catalog. Dreaming over what she might get. She always got sensible stuff. <laughs> Never got dollies or anything. <laughs> oh, there's some glue on that, so I don't want to use my good scissors. Not hang over because I like the torn edge on that. All right, let's glue our ladies down. under there am I? Well I'm going to keep her foot up and I will glue it down later. Keep it from going down. that went behind her head. Alright, now I think this is the kind of washi you gotta peel the back off of. I hope it's still good. It's rather old. Um, where is my yes. down and stuck. Cool. Her chair is not stuck down. This has a thinner tip. It's easier to use when you gotta when I gotta do this. Yeah, her foot is not stuck down. I thought it was, but it's not. Okay. All right, now I'm going to cut 
this one out of here. It might be fun to get the back end off of this. I've never quite done it like this before. I've just used it as a big piece of tape. So, I don't know. This might be fun. see how this works. I'm not really sure. I've seen people fight with these things before. Hmm. Ah. And I don't have any fingernails to speak of. I don't know you guys. I think I will pause you, call my mom, see what she needed, and get these all figured out, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I finally got that off there. And I only decided to add one more, and it's this little number right there. And I thought that was plenty. I mean, this is a very busy tag. The other thing I want to do is I have this um, tea stained lined paper. I'm going to add that to the back of this tag. There's something stuck there. Get that off. That way, this can be journaled on. And I might just use my glue stick. I'm not much for using my glue stick, but I think I will. Use my glue stick. Ah. This is why I'm not much on using my glue stick. hard time getting it all on there before it's dried everywhere especially along the edges oh. and I'm getting it all over my fingers I am just not a glue stick person okay so I'm gonna turn this over and try to line this up along the edge here well, why my hands are so shaky? They're normal. I don't like that. That bad. They do shake anymore, but ah, ah! I don't really like that blue there. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. I don't have noticed that. Maybe. Well, okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna scoot this up on the paper. I can do it without ripping the paper. We're going to put it higher on the paper. I think I can do that. Okay, here we go with the glue again. <laughs> ah. Maybe I should do the center first. And then the edges. I think I really meant to put this side on the outside, but I didn't do that. So, oh, 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 oh. Maybe. my, my um, video started again. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get this up high enough to get that ugly part of this paper. And I think I did. Oh, I did. Oh, good. I'm glad I went ahead and tried that. Because I don't know what that is. Something from whatever I was dying. So, probably something on my um, mat that I had this plane on. Came off on there. 
Okay, so I need to use these scissors because I got glue down here. But I just didn't want that on there. I didn't like that. Even though this is going in my personal journal, I still just didn't want it. How am I going to cut that with that? I don't really want to cut that off. I like that edge. I have to give these scissors a good alcohol bath when I get through. They are very sticky. Okay. Now. Let's do some inking into this thing. There are faint lines on there, so it will be easy to journal on this tag. thinking when I was about to do that if my stapler will go over this. And it will, but am I capable? Let me see where the center of this is real quick. matter if I have the stable perfectly straight or anything it can just be cockeyed but I want my ribbon my waist to be straight and then I found a little yellow it's an old button it's got staple in it and I think I want to leave the staple in there I like it it's the old you can tell it's an old staple so we're going to Glue. I don't want to get the hot glue in the center because I don't want it to come up through. We're going to hot glue that there. And that gives me something else that's yellow, not just the yellow dress. Oh, I probably should put something. You know what? My staple did not go all the way through. I better. It, only half of it went through, so I am going to go ahead and stick me some hot glue. Just because my staple didn't go all the way through, and I did not notice it until just now. It's only halfway through. There's only one tong through there. Please ignore my fingernails. I'm having big trouble with them right now. I'm always having big trouble with them, but I'm really... And that staple is popping up. I wonder if I can poke that down, scrunch it down. I don't know. I don't want that to come up. Out. Huh. Hmm. I don't know what to do with that. I 
didn't really want to glue my ribbon, but I don't want my ribbon to come off either. Okay, now let's do this. Let's cut this one this way and this one this way. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. So my ribbon is going to get shorter. I like it straight. Okay. I wish I wouldn't have done that, but it is what it is. Okay, so where's my list? We have the stamping in the background, which you can barely see now, but we know it's there. <laughs> something yellow. Uh, something sweet is our little puppy in the frame. Uh, washi tape is right here and right here. And something with wheels is our little trucks down here, which remind me of ambulance trucks, like from the war, is what that reminds me of. That's why I was thinking of the 40s with these. So, that is my card. Let me stand up and I'll get it closer for you to see. Thank you for joining me. I will have this, um, the video for this link below. It's certainly not too late to join, ever. And I um, will have it all linked below if you would like to learn about this. I'll have Carolyn's video link for you to go to go check this out yourselves. Thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.